What is up, all my pickle peeps? How y'all doing tonight? I am back. I know, it's been like a week since I made a video. I think the last one was uh, the cheese video that I made when I was in Wisconsin. Uh, I was um, all over the place up there. They sent me around Wisconsin, South Dakota, and um, Minnesota for like a week straight. It's cold weather. I'm not a huge fan of cold weather. I don't know if you know this. I think if you've seen one of my videos, you would know I'm not a fan of cold weather. So I was wandering around up there for about a week. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> my brother told me that I talk too fast in my videos. So I'm trying to do something with my hands to try and keep me a little slowed down and where I can think a little clearer before it just like, it's word vomit. It's, it's all it is. So I found I'm doing a little origami thing and I'll show you what I got. I started out with little squares of paper and then I just make them into this little diagonal thing here. Start out like an airplane, fold in that centerpiece and you make eight of those and I'll show you what we will have when we're done. Uh, no, no big project, it's just something to do. Um, I'm not like a video game fan. A lot of truckers, are they have their TV set up in there and they have their video games and all that stuff. I'm not a huge video gamer and you can't really find cartridges for Nintendo anymore so I don't get to play with that. But I am gonna look into one of those Wii, uh, or the Nintendo Switch. Those are pretty cool, those are pretty nifty. Anyway, so over the last week I went from Madison over to Sioux, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, back up to Minneapolis, back down to this little town off of I-90, and from there headed over to Sioux City, Iowa. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, y'all, between that little town that I can't remember the name of to save my life, um, in Minnesota and Sioux City, Iowa, it started snowing. Um, I don't, if you've never driven that portion in Minnesota of I-90, it's kind of desolate. There's not like a whole lot going on there. There's not a lot of truck stops. There's not a lot of rest areas. Um, so if, if something comes up or I need to stop, you really have to plan it out. Well, snow came up. And when the snow came up, it started getting icy conditions on the roads and my trailer was empty. Uh, when the trailer is empty, the thing's like a giant flip and sail. <clears throat> when it's windy, especially, and it was windy. Um, when I tell you that for 30 minutes straight, I say this with no sarcasm, when I tell you for 30 minutes straight, my heart was pounding and I was terrified. I was legitimately terrified that I was gonna end up on the side of the road or in a ditch because when, you, okay, so for point of reference, when you're driving down the road, if you look in your rear view mirrors, you don't see the sides of the trailer. You see like the line of rivets down the trailer. That's that's how you know you're going straight. It's one of the things you use when you help back to see if you're, you're, you're straight. So you don't see the sides of your trailer. Um, when you're turning, you do. Or when the trailer's turning without you, you do. And that's the situation I got into. I got to a couple spots where, or a few spots, where I could feel the traction change in the tires. I could feel that they weren't gripping. And I checked my mirrors, and I, several times in my right mirror especially, I, I saw the trailer turning. And um, that that's unsettling, to say the least. It's, it's so unsettling. So I already got like eight of these made up already because that's how many you need for this little thing. <laughs> ah! Oh, the ear pods. Don't mind the AirPods. I had a conversation with my sister-in-law the other day. Hey, Jen, how you doing, girl? Um, had a conversation with my sister-in-law the other day. She had watched one of my videos, and I guess I had started out with uh, the AirPods in and then took them out part of the way through. Well, the sound quality changed, so it sounded better. Like, the mic's closer to my mouth, and it sounds like you can hear me. So I want y'all to hear me. It sounds like um, I'll get better sound quality. So just ignore those. I'm gonna try and ignore them. I might touch them every once in a while because my ears are big apparently and they slide out. So um, that's what's up with those. ADD trucker moment of the week, y'all. Oh my gosh. I was, I went from amazingly excited to super sad within a span of two seconds. And all of this happened in my head in the time it took to turn my head. I was driving down 94, headed to Madison last week, and um, out of the corner of my eye, I saw, I saw a moose, y'all. <laughs> I saw a moose. I saw a flipping moose. And I got so excited, I turned my head to become depressed and super sad because it was, in fact, a statue of a moose. 
Um, so I'm an animal lover. I love seeing wild animals and I've, I especially love seeing animals that I've never seen before in person. I've never seen a moose in the wild and that, that would just be an outstanding experience. So for the rest of the time through uh, Wisconsin, I was looking for moose. I don't even know if they're there. I'm gonna have to do some Googling. Like, I don't know if they're that far south. I don't know if they're, um, I don't know the movement habits of a moose. Oh, look what I got going here. I started it. So you take these little ones and you have your little divoted end and you have your full end. You squeeze that together. So you take the closed end and you slide it into the split end of the other one. Then you just take the little tabs that are there and fold them into itself. Now, they are all starting to make a shape. <coughs> anyway, so when I, uh, I finally got to a truck stop after that 30 minutes of sliding, y'all, this, this is gonna be another all over the place video, just a warning. Um, got somewhere to stop that was safe for the night um, and my company, what I love about this company is they, you know, a lot of companies preach about be safe, stay safe. It's all about safety. We're not a company without you. Uh, but this one has lived up to it. I got there and I was supposed to leave out at about 10 o'clock that night. And the, the wind was just whipping still. It was still snowing, real heavy flurries. And uh, I wasn't comfortable. So I called the office and I, I told them, Look, I'm I'm gonna wait until the, there's there's three things going on. I got an empty trailer. It's snowing and there's wind. So if one of those three, which really only two could be adjusted, if one of those three things gives, I'll take off. And they said okay. They didn't give me any. There was no question. I sat here in this driver's seat for half an hour, coming up with all the the uh, arguments that I was gonna have because I I wasn't gonna leave that night. It wasn't gonna happen. And I didn't have to use any of them. And I'm very proud that I didn't have to. I'm proud to say that I work for a company that I didn't have to use those arguments for my safety to to stay safe out on the road. Um, so I, I went back to bed, woke up about one o'clock, still wind howling. So I went back to bed, woke up about four o'clock. Uh, wind had died down completely. Got out on the road, made it down to Sioux City, Iowa, no problems. Had a quick turnaround there, got on my way back to Texas. Back in Texas for a hot minute. Um, so when you keep putting these together, you end up getting this little octagon shape. I'm gonna put the last one in here so you can see it. So I've got my split side here. I'm gonna slide that in. I'm gonna fold those two little ears down. And then we have this octagon, but it's not closed, it's not completed. So I'm gonna just pull that apart, and get it here where you can see it. I'm just gonna pull that apart, put that in there, and then fold those ears back into itself here. This is one of those many goofy things that I do. Like uh, somebody taught me how to do this in seventh grade and it's never left. So I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, but I can remember how to make a paper origami that some little girl taught me how to make in seventh grade and I'll never forget it ever in my life. So now I have my completed little octagon. Once it's done, you do a little jicky jock in here and sliding. Oh, there it goes, it's starting to. Let me back up a little bit. Ow, God dang, dang it. Um. That thing gets me every day, every day. I get out of the seat and I hit my head on that thing. And then you slide it a little more. And then you turn it and you slide it a little more. If it'll slide, it's real sticky at first. You pull it out by the points too. There we go. If it's not all stuck together, this, I told y'all this is an ADD video and it is all over the place. Welcome to Squirrel Vision. Mm. There it is, got it. See, see, all that for a little pinwheel that just slides apart and back together again. That's it, That's, this is my life, this is what I do. Anyway, anyway, um, oh! Oh, 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 I've got a big adventure planned next weekend. I'm so excited. Not going to tell you what it is yet. It is booked. I am going. I found an adventure buddy, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to post a video here so all of you can see my my embarrassing. I, I guarantee it's going to be embarrassing in some form or fashion, but 
I'm gonna put it out here from Pickle Peeps. I want y'all to see my adventure because I'm excited. This is a bucket list thing, y'all. I've been waiting for this. I was supposed to do it when I was 18, when I turned 18. It didn't happen. Here I am, almost 20 years later. I'm finally gonna do it. Finally gonna do it. And I'm so stoked about it. So I will definitely post that as soon as I get that video back. <coughs> But other than that, nothing else going on. Thanks for following around on the Pickle Parade. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share all that good stuff. Got a shout out to my Jan over at Simply Jan Homestead and Out West Homestead too. Give y'all a shout out. I've watched some of y'all's videos, really like them. Started uh, subscribe to that. Um, I like the Homestead videos because they, they teach you stuff. I like to, uh, always learning, always learning. You, you can, you're not doing anything if you're not learning something. So, um, for tonight, that's it. I'm going to bed because I gotta be up at two o'clock in the morning. So, miss you, love you. Mwah.